Ahava and blessings to all of you and welcome to this Desert Rose guidance for this week. And um, I'm doing this video in beautiful Avalon Glastonbury as I am leading a retreat here. And I'm going to be talking about the new moon in Sagittarius a little bit so that we have this guidance for this week. And just remember that the, the new moon is the emptiness, the void. And when we have a new moon, we have a blank canvas so that we can place our intentions, um, seed our intentions, and knowing that the moon represents our incarnational experience, uh, we know, we learn how to expand into who we are to become because we are always in that becoming, right? So this is the beauty of the new moon. And as we leave the darkness and the deep waters of Scorpio, we go into the energy of Sagittarius, right? Into the energy of the light after going deep into the waters to do all of the work of the death, the rebirth, the shadow, and just feeling our emotion and staying in that place within our inner cave, Sagittarius gives us the beautiful fire, the beautiful light, and the hope of something new. And so in biblical astrology and Gnostic astrology, um, Samif is the letter, the Aramaic letter that created Sagittarius. I just want to read this from my book, Mary Magdalene and the Teachings of the Desert Rose. And it says about Samif, it's the 15th letter and holds a numerical value of 60. Samif reminds us that the soul has come here to fulfill a purpose. Samif takes us into the path of the soul purpose, awakening within as our longing for wisdom and knowledge. So as we know, Sagittarius on a higher octave, on a mystical level, represents that wisdom and knowledge. And the first thing we can ask ourselves before we do any of this new moon seeding, right, and, and when we dive into the emptiness of this moon, is what have we learned? What is the wisdom that we have learned in the Scorpio portal, in the lunar cycle portal, as with solar and lunar cycle of Scorpio? What, what has happened? What transformation um, have we experienced? The longing to merge, right? Because Scorpio represents that longing to merge. How has that longing been fulfilled? What have we found out about ourselves? What is our truth? What has been the dark, the darkness that we have experienced and what is the wisdom that has come out of it? And remember, no matter how powerful the darkness is, the light that we receive and the teachings that we receive are so valuable when we come out of that, that journey, right? That initiation. And so um, remember that Sagittarius is ruled by Jupiter, which is the planet of expansion and of good luck. And so Jupiter will be present and very present in this uh, new moon. And also Jupiter being in Pisces and leaving the retrograde when it reaches the peak, the new moon reaches, is going to bring so much ease and so much light, especially again if you have really na navigated the deep waters of Scorpio. So when we look at the letter Samech that created the sign of Sagittarius, because in the teachings of, of the Aramaic, um, the world was created by the Aramaic letters. And it's a mapping, maybe, when you listen to this. Um, but as you dive into these teachings, and I've been doing them for a very long time, you start to understand how these zodiacal frequencies and these letters that are a light language and that are codes right? Codes of sound, vibration of creation, um, they have a purpose. And when we dive into a cycle, like when we dive into a new moon cycle, there is a purpose, right? Because cycles are prophetic and they reveal something to us. We receive a revelation. And with Sagittarius, we know that Sagittarius is an adventurer, loves adventure, but like, again, that higher octave is about wisdom, right? And so we know that, that we, there's a symbol. We've got the half horse, half man, the centaur, right? With Sagittarius. And the horse represents wisdom in this symbol. The man represents the mind. And he's got a bow and an arrow, right? And um, the, the, the bow and arrow represent 
the spiritual aim that we have, the goal that we have, and also the willingness we have to arrive at that goal. So it is about attaining something, that light that is sparked within us. Um, it's ignited, but where, where do we want that light to take us? Remember, we have awakened in wisdom. The light has come, is coming in, pouring in. Where do we want this light to take us? So the light that we are holding within us has a purpose to it. And the purpose and the intention is there for us to put in. We put in the purpose. We put in the intention. And so it's just it's such a very, very, very beautiful moment. And I just love when we start to get ready um, in this new moon in Sagittarius for, for the, the, the month of December. Again, we've got the Advent coming, right? And Advent is all about the preparation of the birth of our inner Christ. And we also have... Um, in the spiral of the Rosa Mystica, in the teachings of the Christ lineage and the Desert Rose teachings, it is the moment where Mother Anna comes in and Mother Anna starts preparing us. Um, Mother Mary, and first Mother Mary, of course, because we've got the Immaculate Conception on the 8th of December, and then we've got Mother Anna who comes in preparing us for our destiny. Again, Samech means encouragement and it means the light that will take us to our destiny, right? To fulfill our destiny. And let's just talk a little bit about this. Um, destiny mission, we, we are all so focused, right? As a humanity to find out what our mission is. And, and it is important to understand that our mission is happening now. It's not happening in the future, right? It's happening now. So if we live our life in this present moment, holding the light of wisdom, knowing that what we are doing now is the mission, then our light has an intention because we are living in the present moment as the mission. And what is the mission? To be present 100% and to be aligned and connected with the heart center, right? And so maybe what we are doing in our life, we may not like it in this moment, but this is the mission. And look at it as a mission because it is the intention that we are planting. So when we navigate this new moon in Sagittarius, hold the light. Remember to light a candle. Hold that light very powerfully. In the, in the new moons, um, I, I always facilitate Allah Hashalah ceremonies. And I do this within the priestess and priest training, the Mary Magdalene priestess and priest training. And these ceremonies are really powerful because we work with the Gnostic and Biblical astrology and the spiral of Rosa Mystica to bring in teachings. Candles are always present because candles represent the fire of the divine feminine presence. But on this new moon, have that fire lit and know that that fire has been awakened and it's here, right? And the heart is infinite. The heart space is infinite. On the tree of life in Kabbalah, the heart, the Tiferet, has the color black. And the reason why the heart chakra is black is because it is infinity. It is infinite space. There is no, there are no, there is no ending to the heart. So there is no ending to your light. There is no, your, your, your wisdom is infinite. Your light is infinite, right? Your intentions are infinite. And so when we bring these intentions into the present moment, knowing that our mission and what we are here to do is happening now, right? And not the idea of what we think we would like to be doing. It is happening now. And this is the miracle. And this is the miracle that we will receive from Jupiter, right? Jupiter is the planet, the benefic planet of good luck and expansion. So Jupiter always gifts us with something. Remember this. So when you come into this new moon, again, get your candle ready, get your paper ready to seed your intentions. Go into meditation, go into that emptiness. Remember that two or three days before the new moon is the most, the balsamic moon is the most powerful moment to get an upgrade, right? A DNA upgrade, an energy upgrade, your cells renew themselves. Um, we just get these powerful 
physical body upgrades. So remember to nourish yourself properly and then go into this new moon in Sagittarius with mindfulness, with awareness, with courage, with encouragement, and with light. And again, remember, the horse represents wisdom. The man on the horse, the half man represents the mind. The bow and arrow is our spiritual intention and the willingness we have to aim at the goal of our spiritual intention. So I am going to play a little bit here. We're going to, let's chant Nuhra de Sharara, which means I receive the light that will guide me in my mission, okay? There's a new little drum that I had to get here because when I came to, when I arrived, my bag, my baggage didn't arrive with my retreat things, nothing. And so I had to get a drum. It still hasn't arrived. <laughs> chant for this lunar cycle Nukhra de Sharaga in Aramaic. I quite like this drum. What do you think about the drum? Let me know. It's small. It's I can carry it with me. So I think this will be my drum that I take with me when I do my travels. And, and um, yeah, I can put it in a little bag, right? And so that's something good about what happened, right? <laughs> so I am sending all of you so much love from beautiful Avalon and um, blessings on this new moon in Sagittarius and with the alignment of this Samech coming in so powerfully, this frequency of the Aramaic letter. Ahava.